Okay then my friends, so now I'd like to, for the next couple of lessons, turn my attention to the nav over here, so for desktop and also for mobile styles as well, which is when the nav goes to the top. So in this video, let's concentrate on desktop and slightly larger screens. So what I'd like to do, first of all, is kind of shift all of this over to the right. So I'm going to use Flexbox to do that. Now this is the div surrounding all of the stuff in the nav. So I'm going to apply a class of Flex to this because then we can flex a line or justify this over to the right. Does that make sense? So I only want this to be for slightly larger screens because again, on smaller screens, it's gonna appear right at the top. So we'll just use this for medium sized screens and up, so MD before it. And also I'm gonna say MD and justify hyphen end. So this is the thing that's going to scoot this over to the right side of this big white column. All right, so let's save that and preview so far. Okay, looking a bit better. Now, I also want to align all this text to the right of this little space here. So to do that, I can come to the nav and apply a class to this and I can say text right and that uses text align right under the hood. So let me save that. And okay, that's looking a bit better. Now, I also want to bring this UL down a bit and also maybe make the text a little bit smaller. So let's go to the UL and give this a couple of classes as well. So first of all, text hyphen SM for small text and then margin top, so empty hyphen six, save it. Okay, looking better. Now, the next thing I'd like to do is actually align these things next to these links. So they're on the right of the links, not underneath. Now to do that, we could make these anchor tags right here that surround the text and the SVG into a flex container. So let's do that. I'm gonna say class is equal to px-4 to give it some padding in the x direction, also a flex container and justify hyphen end. Save that and check this out in a browser. Okay, looking okay. I think what I need to do is add some margin left to the icon. So let me come to the icon and say ML hyphen two and save that and preview. Okay, that's looking better again. So I need to do the same thing for this and this. So let me just grab this thing right here where we apply a class to the anchor tag and do it for these down here as well. And also we need the margin left on the SVGs. So ML hyphen two and ML hyphen two there, save it and preview. Okay, looking okay, but I think what we need as well is a bit of padding around each one of these LI tags. So they're spaced out a bit more uh, vertically. So let's go to each LI tag and we'll give this a class equal to, and I'm gonna say PY hyphen one. Now I'm gonna grab that and I'm gonna paste it in the first one up here where we already have classes. And also let's apply that class down here as well. Paste it in, save and preview. And that is looking a bit better. Now what I'd also like to do is apply a border of red to the right hand side of this one, just to say, look, this is where we currently are on this homepage. So let's go to the first anchor tag up here again. And I'm gonna say border hyphen right hyphen four and border hyphen and it's going to be the primary color save that and preview and that looks quite nice but these icons are now not aligned this one is a bit more to the left than these two so maybe we add a border to the right of these two but this time have it white so it looks like nothing is there because i only want this one to be red where we currently are so let's grab this class and copy it and apply it to the other anchor tags but also let's say border hyphen white and the same down here border hyphen white save it and preview and this is looking better awesome so then i think that's looking really nice but if we inspect and go to smaller screens on smaller screens what i'd like to do is actually hide these and instead maybe show some kind of icon like a burger icon to click to show them so we'll address all of that in the next video